Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about the individual category settings. In the previous video we spoke about the common settings, so now it's time to speak about the settings of each category. Let's roll! To edit the category just click its title. Uh, first let's see what we can do at the top of the page. At the top of the page we have all the settings tabs. We have the gear button that allows you to add subcategory, add product, preview this category, view products inside this category and delete this category. Add subcategory allows you to add the subcategory inside this category just with one click and add product straight to this category. Preview button allows you to preview your category when you make some changes. For example, if you uh, change the status of your category to the hidden, you can still preview it. Alright, uh, let's move on to the general tab. Information, name, desktops, clear, location, yeah, uh, location of a category inside the tree. Uh, you can move it right to the root level, electronics or move to any other category if you wish, it's up to you. All the changes will be displayed uh, at the category tree at the left. Ok, description. Uh, description of the category is displayed at the top uh, of the category page on the storefront. Uh, let me show you. We can add the text here about desktop computers for example. We can uh, insert the image from uh, uh, the file editor. Insert. Yeah, uh, here we go. Uh, doesn't look too good but uh, that doesn't really matter uh, for us now. Yeah. That's much better. Uh, don't forget to save your changes. Ok, you can uh, click this button and edit content on site. Uh, just let me show you. Save. Then edit content on site. Here we go. Uh, you can change uh, the name of a category here, the description, uh, the picture. By the way, yeah, that's how it looks like. Uh, well, the name of the products, its prices almost everything. I think that's it about live editing. Yeah, let me close it. And then uh, I'll go back to the category. Status, active, hidden, disabled, I think that's clear. Images, yes, images for the category. I think you saw them, uh, those small grey pictures. Computers, uh, mp3 players, uh, phones and so on. Yeah, you can add your own pictures to the subcategories or you can enter the text instead of um, images. Ok, uh, metadata, another important part, page title. Page title um, is displayed at the top of the browser, uh, you know, at the browser tab. For example, instead of the breadcrumbs like uh, we have now, like electronics, computers, desktops, we can just enter desk, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, um, desktop and it will be shown at the top of the browser. Uh, meta description. Well, uh, it's important um, for the search engines and um, also it can serve you as an advertising text. Like you can enter, we have the best desktops uh, around uh, 10,000 miles or we, we can, uh, we have the fastest, uh, the steadiest, uh, the best desktops in the galaxy. It's up to you. Yeah, any Advertising text will do. Uh, meta keywords, the tags for your category page, desktop for example. Yeah, you can use comma to divide them from each other. Uh, I don't know, RAM, sorry, hard drive, and other tags. Everything related to the desktops. Okay, and that can be useful for the search engines. Availability. You can. Um, make uh, the category available only for specific customer groups only. For example, only for the guest customers, for the registered, for all and apply this setting to all subcategories of this category. Change the position, you saw it before, and uh, change its creation date. Well, if you need to keep a track of um, the changes in your store. Now let's move to the other tabs. Add-ons. 
On this tab we have all add-ons that influence the categories. Uh, by the way, you can uh, take a look at all add-ons at the add-ons, manage add-ons. Uh, for now we have SEO add-on here and um, comments and reviews. Yeah, reviews disabled for uh, the categories and uh, enabled only for the products. I think that can really come in handy. SEO name, electronics, computers, desktops, you can change it to, I don't know, just computers again, if you wish, anything you want. By the way, speaking about add-ons, uh, some add-ons can create their own tabs. For example, reward points. This is the add-on that created its own tab. If you don't like the format of this SEO name, you can just go to the add-ons, then find your SEO add-on and change the format of the category. Category SEO URL format. You can choose the longest one, the shortest one, well, from these options. You can also change the product SEO format, page, other. Okay, let's go back now. Okay, add-ons done, views, product details view, here we specify the product view only for this category, uh, parent default template or the big picture. Uh, the big picture is a big picture of your product uh, in the center of uh, the category, let me show you. Uh, for example, save, okay, and then I'll go to the store, here we go. Yeah, this is how the products page looks like with a big picture enabled. You can also create the specific look settings for this category only. Just click use custom view, enter the number of columns you want to have in this category, choose available views, for example, I want to disable compact list and list without options, I don't want to have them, and default category view of course grid. Then I just click the save button and go to storefront to see my changes. All the changes I made here will be applied for the desktops category only. Don't forget about that. The general settings for all categories are contained in settings appearance. Just save. Okay, here we go, desktops. And that's how it looks like now. Uh, I chose five columns, so <laughs> we have uh, the blind space here, but that doesn't matter. Now they all, uh, they're all in one line, all for desktops. That's what I wanted to have. And I don't have any choice here, so all the products are placed in the grid. You can make such designs for any, for every category. You make specific designs, uh, for example, for the sports and outdoors and change it for the music. Make something unique for office supplies if you wish. Yeah, the sky is the limit. Next is reward points. Uh, this is the individual reward point settings for this category only. Points earned per product. You can click this box, override global point value for all products in this category and uh, enter your own amounts. For example, like for buying desktops, we'll get 20 points for all something uh, specific. Guess we'll get 15 points and register use 25s. Yeah, like that doesn't matter. Points or percents, it's up to you. The general settings for the reward points are contained in marketing, reward points. Yeah, leave this page. Here, um, if you enter the amounts here, they will be applied to every product and every category. I think that's clear. And the last one is the layouts. Uh, here, you can switch the layout between main and digit mode. Uh, but you cannot move the blocks, you cannot add new blocks. You are unable, you're also unable to add the grids, uh, but you can change the options of a box. Yeah, block options, just like this. And you can activate and deactivate them. For example, I want to, yes, I want to deactivate this annoying gift banner we saw before. Uh, I click this button and then I choose preview. Finally. We got rid of this uh, banner. Now we have the picture, the description, and the products. Uh, by the way, uh, speaking about uh, layouts, the general settings for layouts uh, 
for categories, for example. Uh, you can find it in Design, Layout, Categories tab. Yes, you can also use uh, the default tab to change some of the blocks, some of the buttons. Don't forget about this tool. I think that's it. That's all what I wanted to tell you about uh, the category settings in CS Card. Uh, in the next videos, we will continue to investigate everything that is related to products. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and see you in the next CS Card video tutorials.